Hello, I'm Dr. Wickham Simons. Uh, I'm an obesity medicine specialist and I practice obesity medicine in the Triangle area of North Carolina. This is a video series titled Obesity Medicine Perspective. It's an educational tool for patients and potential patients and other healthcare providers and it's meant to educate you about multiple aspects relating to obesity. So uh, the last video I did was just a kind of an introduction to the video series and today I want to uh, cover a foundational principle. If we're going to talk about obesity and the treatment of obesity, we need to understand exactly uh, what obesity is because uh, when you ask people, you get different things. And most people, when I ask them, hey, what do you think obesity is? They they'll tell me the definition essentially revolves around uh, someone's weight. If they're X amount overweight or, or uh, they're too large or whatever, then they are obese. And uh, there is a grain of truth in that. Uh, you, you uh, in most cases, uh, when your weight is too high, uh, you are obese. And the reason that is, is a more fundamental principle. Obesity is a disease of excess body fat. It is not a disease just of weight because it is possible for you to have a normal weight but have excess body fat and you still have obesity. It is also possible that you are a larger person who has a lot more lean mass and less body fat and you are not obese. So in most cases, the overweight condition, the weight being too high, is usually because you have excess body fat. But the central point is that obesity is a disease of excess body fat. Now, you say, well, why is that important? Well, look, when I went to medical school, when I was a resident doctor, fat was thought to be something of uh, insulation. It had no function. It wasn't negative. It wasn't positive. And that has turned out scientifically to be completely false. Fat is an organ. Just like your heart, your liver, your skin, fat is an organ in and of itself. And when you accumulate excess body fat, that organ becomes diseased and it's communicating with all of your other organs and it's signaling them to produce disease. So when I design dietary therapies and medication uh, regimens to treat obesity, I'm thinking about the reduction of your body fat and I'm doing that uh, from that perspective. And that's a really important concept. It's not just to reduce your weight. When you reduce your fat, you will reduce your weight. But if you want to get the, at the heart of your health and good health, at the same time you're losing weight, you have to work on this principle of reducing body fat. Now I'm going to say this as a final plug. Uh, I take this really serious. So I've purchased a $20,000 device that we have in the office so that we can use to very accurately and precisely predict what your body fat is, where it's located, so that we can follow you over time and know exactly if our therapy is working. So the name of this product is the InBody 770 and it is a fantastic tool. It's an easy test to run. It's short. It gives you a great report and it is precise. If you'll keep following these YouTube videos and you'll follow us on the Dr. Simon's Facebook and Twitter feeds, you're going to find that we're talking about this subject and that we are giving away free prizes which include this in-body test. You can get the most cutting edge technology to tell you exactly what your body fat is, where it's located. You can follow it over time and know exactly what your therapy is doing to your body fat percentage. And so I would encourage you to please follow along, register for these free gifts, inquire about this test when you're in the office because it's a fantastic tool. So look, until next time, I'm going to give you the tools and the instruction. You give me the effort and together we can overcome obesity.